Tesla has officially started advertising on Google. This is verified via the ad transparency tool, which Google provides advertisers. Currently, about 18 Tesla ads are launched in the United States and the United Kingdom, and likely more is coming. I, my friends, use Google AdSense to monetize this YouTube channel and our automotive website, torquenews.com, and I just checked a few minutes ago there and saw the ads from Tesla. I assume very soon Tesla will start video advertising on YouTube, and who knows, perhaps in this Torque News channel, you will, um, if you, well, you will see some of them. So if you ever see one from from AdSense, uh, from the Tesla, please write in the comment section below. I'll be interested to watch because where I am and you are, we may be seeing different ads. Anyway, apparently Tesla advertising in on Google is such a big deal for Tesla and electric vehicle enthusiasts that Yashu Sharma's tweet, he is the host of Hit That Beat YouTube channel take, talking about Tesla stocks and other EVs. Anyway, so his tweet got nearly half a million views and went viral on Twitter today. You guys need to know that this is a big deal for Tesla and Google advertising because Tesla has never spent money on traditional advertising with Musk saying he would rather spend the millions of dollars all other automakers spend in that category on making his products better. It is hard to argue with his rationale when seeing Tesla's growth over the year leading to it becoming the most valuable automaker in the world. Instead of having an advertising budget, Tesla has relied on word of mouth, referral program, and other non-traditional methods to drive growth, and of course relied on Elon Musk. However, many Tesla enthusiasts and investors believe that can only take you so far. And to help custom, uh, counter the false narratives being spread about the company and to help promote the fact that a Tesla Model Y is now more affordable than the average car bought in the United States, among many other things. Elon Musk agreed to try some traditional advertising when asked by a shareholder at the annual shareholder meeting at Gigafactory Texas last month. It appears as though Tesla has now started dipping its toes into advertising, launching advertising campaigns in the United States and United Kingdom through Google Ads. First spotted by Twitter user Yashua Sharma, which I just mentioned, there are currently approximately 18 Tesla ads being run in both countries, according to Google's ad transparency tool. Among the topics being covered by Tesla in their first campaign is the Model 3, Model Y being best-selling vehicle in the United Kingdom, uh, the attractive pricing of the Model 3 and Model Y, the advantages of Tesla Solar, the supercharger network, and more. Here's a look at uh, all of the ads currently listed under Tesla's Incorporated, and you're seeing them on your screen as I'm talking. According to the tool, these ads have been running since at least June 20, 2020. Some Tesla uh, fans and supporters might be disappointed in the company's first effort at, um, at advertising, but as Musk said on the stage at the shareholder meeting, the company will just try a little advertising and see how it goes. I will not be surprised if Tesla down the road hires more, uh, more people to do more sophisticated and better looking advertising. This is likely just the first of many ads that will be run through Google, likely expanding to other markets and other formats as they learn more about the performance of this initial run. There is also going to be a side effect of Tesla starting to advertise though. And that's all of the news coverage that will now be running on Tesla advertising for the first time, giving them even more exposure. Here is why Tesla advertising is important. With more electric vehicles hitting the market in higher volumes, the market is expected to become more competitive and automakers are expected to shift some of their advertising budgets, which are amongst the biggest of any industry from fossil fuel powered vehicles to electric vehicles. While Tesla has never done advertising, the automaker has been creating promotional material and marketing for a long time. Now it's actually paying for Google ad placement. And this is the first one. The next step is likely TV commercials and banner ads and uh, YouTube Tesla ads. If not, we can see that Tesla trying to boost its referral program again. 
Let me see your thoughts. What do you think about Tesla's advertising? Have you ever seen one? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and let's move on to other stories. God bless you. I have a new information, friends, for you about Tesla Semi and Pepsi. Pepsi disclosed Tesla Semi autonomy capabilities and future plans. Last week, CNBC reporters went to Pepsi's free toilet facility in Modesto, California to check out the new electric trucks from Tesla called Semi. They wanted to see if the trucks were as good as people say they are. After watching the report, I found out some fascinating information about how Pepsi uses the Tesla Semi and I thought I'd share it with you. I have already filed one report at Torque News YouTube channel a few days ago about some of the interesting things Pepsi shared with CNBC, such as Pepsi Tesla Semi delivering Frito-Lay products around 425 miles per charge. It it also delivers Pepsi out of its Sacramento warehouse on 100 miles daily routes going directly to stores and 300 to 400 miles runs to other warehouses. But in this report, I want to tell you what Pepsi told CNBC about Tesla semi-autonomous driving capabilities and whether they use it. Pepsi told CNBC that the Tesla semi-trucks they have received don't have autonomous features activated yet. Here's what PepsiCo's VP supply chain, Mike O'Connell, said. He said, the autonomous functionality of Tesla is not expected for these vehicles. They have the hardware capability. We'll get to that down the road as an additional capability, said PepsiCo's vice president of supply chain, Mike O'Connell. What this means? This means that the Tesla semi trucks owned by Pepsi currently do not have the ability to operate autonomously or without a human driver, such as like uh, full self driving beta, although that, even those you cannot drive without a human driver. Although the trucks have the necessary equipment installed, the autonomous functionality is not activated or enabled. It's an additional risk for Pepsi drivers, probably. Pepsi's vice president of supply chain, Michael Connell, that ex explained that while the trucks have the potential for autonomous capabilities, it is not currently being utilized. However, there is a possibility that autonomous features may be added to the trucks in the future as an additional capability. When will, be the, when will they be added? Once the drivers really go in after, uh, through some training or uh, Pepsi get, uh, Tesla gets to some level 3 or level 4 official capability. Now, why is this important? At the unveiling of the production version of the Tesla Semi, the car maker said a lot of things about its revolutionary semi truck, but didn't say a word about it being equipped with autopilot or full self driving. Now, PepsiCo sheds light on the question many Tesla enthusiasts and industry observers have saying their trucks received from Tesla have the necessary hardware installed for autonomous driving. This could be the beginning of the end of the truck driving profession. Perhaps in the next 10, 15 day, uh, years, Tesla semi trucks will drive them by themselves. What do you think? Do you agree with this view or concerned about the industry going at uh, all full self driving? Let me know, friends, your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel because I have more secrets about Pepsi Tesla Semi that I've learned and I'm going to share in this channel in the next few days. God bless you. See you soon in our next report.